Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Weather's getting warm out. Uh, I don't want to heat the kitchen and the house up cooking big heavy meals. Um, I've done a bunch of grilling and everything. I want something that's cool and refreshing and delicious and easy. So we're going to make chicken salad. It's one of my favorites. Now, I like tuna salad, but chicken salad, mwah, I love it. Especially on some sourdough. It's great. So, if that sounds good to you, sit back, relax, and uh, I'll get to cooking. All right, y'all. Let's get this here started. Uh, I started out here. This is one whole uh, Walmart rotisserie chicken, deboned, deskinned, and as much of the gristle and stuff and all that you can get out of it um don't throw that skin away that stuff's good stuff to eat but so anyways got that one whole uh chicken and this is the original version you can use whatever flavor you like the best we got half of a red onion finely chopped about two stalks of celery cut up into small pieces um, I like the smaller pieces. You do how you want to do, boo-boo. And then we got uh, about half of a three-ounce package of the sun-dried tomatoes. So, got all that. I'm going to get some real mayonnaise, not that salad dressing stuff. And we're going to start out with uh, roughly two cups. We'll adjust from there. Eh, a little bit more. Alright, and then we're going to use some Dijon mustard. Woo! I'm going to put about eh, two tablespoons in, probably for this amount of chicken. If I got that much in the bottle. Eh, we're going to go with that. And then we're going to go with just a little sprinkle of coarse ground black pepper. Because I like coarse ground black pepper. So, alright. Get our spoon here. And down in there and get the bottom all brought up here get it rotated around now you can adjust the amounts of the the vegetables and everything I'm throwing that stuff everywhere uh, you can adjust the amounts of the vegetables and stuff as you want um, if you like more celery put more celery in. if you don't like celery that much which I'm not a huge fan of celery but in something like this it's kind of a necessity you got to have that crunch so all right we're going to need some more mayo so let me grab a another spoon i like mine a little creamier Probably just get my hands in here and mix this stuff up really good, but I don't want to make that big of a mess today. I always say the best mixing utensils are your hands, your phalanges. But like I said, today I don't want to make that big of a mess, so we're going to use a spoon and just keep after it. So, all right, y'all. I think that looks pretty dang good. Make sure I get that bottom down there really good. Alright. There she's mixed up. There it is. Now, I like it on uh, 
crackers or uh, the uh, uh, sourdough bread, toasted rye bread, it's really good on. Um, lettuce wraps, really good if you get some good lettuce and not that, you know, uh, big round head lettuce. We want the big leaf lettuce, make a nice little thing. But uh, today, we're just going to have it on some sourdough. I'm going to toast up some sourdough. We'll make a sandwich and uh, we'll do a uh, little taste test. All right, y'all. Got my sourdough bread all uh, toasted up there. My toaster got a little rambunctious. Um, if you ever like done sourdough bread, it don't fit down the toaster, so you got to kind of flip it over. So, but anyways, let's get some of this on here. Make sure I get some of them tomatoes and that celery, all the goodness in there, baby. All right, look at that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. All right. Toss our other half on top there. Grab us a knife. Ooh. She's crumbly, but delicious. So, all right, let's do our taste test. All right, y'all, time for the taste test. That is good, good stuff there, y'all. Mm. Hint of the Dijon coming through. The crunchiness of all the celery and the onions and the bread toast. Mwah. And that rotisserie chicken. That really comes through, too. Delicious. Great combination of flavors. So, there you have it. If you're looking for something easy for the whole family, nice, quick, you know, you can make this up like on a weekend. Have it for you know supper a couple nights. You know, quick family meal. It's awesome. Throw some chips on there. Great stuff. So, all right. I want to address something here. If you made it this far into the video, 90% of my viewers are unsubscribed. It's free. Why not ring the bell? You know, you get to see me a couple times a week. Sometimes three times a week. You know, get the notification of everything we do. So, ring the bell. You know, give it a thumbs up. Love y'all. And as always, bear appetit.